Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm calling an emergency meeting. I might be buying my Hermes bag on Saturday. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, which there have been a lot of lately, and anything related to life and style you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. <sighs> I really need to redo my intro, that's way too much. Oh my gosh. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, emergency meeting. Super serious, everyone. Get, get your serious face on because we need to focus. For those of you who are just now joining the Birkin journey, as we're calling it, hi, I'm Caleb, I'm on a Birkin journey. I know, gross, gag me. So this started probably about, what would you say, like four or five months ago? The Birkin journey? Yeah. 2007? Oh my gosh, okay, well the Birkin journey itself probably honestly started back in like 2004, 2005. I wanted one for a very, very, very long time. I'm buying one now in 2022. If only I bought one then, I would have saved some money and made some money. Hindsight's 2020. How old were you in 2004? Old enough to have a Birkin, mom and dad. Just another one of your many disappointments. Anyway, I'm just saying. Okay, so back on topic. <laughs> So the, the, the topic that we're discussing today is the Birkin journey. And the Birkin journey that I'm on currently technically started about four or five months ago. It actually originally started out as a Chanel journey. I was saving up for like my first big Chanel bag. I think I narrowed it down to like a boy, a couple of flaps, definitely the Coco handle, the Jumbo Kelly, which is like the large flap sack, whatever. Who knows? We're over it. Goodbye, Chanel. Skipping you for now. If I ever go back to Chanel, it'll definitely be vintage. I, I don't think I'd buy a new one after watching all of you guys and hearing your horror stories. I'm like, I'm good. No, I'm good. However, Hermes, ugh, Hermes, wow. I decided to change tracks because I was like, you know what? To, to save up for a good Chanel bag that's like, what, five, six thousand dollars $6,000, you're pretty much into Kelly Birkin territory, almost. Like low end starting, like really rough stuff. Save a little bit more, buy something good, right? Right? And I decided, you know what? This is always what I've truly wanted. I'm this far already into the journey. We're just gonna go full steam ahead and go all the way out. Like all the way in, Birkin, Kelly, whatever I'm gonna buy. Here we are, it is October, 2022. It is my birthday month, which makes it even more special. And without revealing too much, because it's gonna be on my weekend vlog for Friday, I met up with a fellow luxury Chicago YouTuber and we had lunch, we did some shopping, and we ended up at one of the stores, which you all know I don't like very much, which is gonna be part of what we're gonna to discuss today. And I tried on a couple of bags. You guys, I tried on a Birkin 35 and I tried on a Kelly 35. And quite honestly, I love both. Now, the essay that we were talking to, I talked to about, I'd say when we were in the city about three, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, I was trying on Birkins and Kelly's again then. She remembered what I'd wanted. So that was incredibly impressive. Thank you, love that. We were actually looking at a couple of Chanel bags up on the shelf and she popped up and she goes, oh, you know, are you still looking for the Kelly or the Birkin? Like, I'm like, oh my God, you remember that? Yes, like absolutely. And then we got to talking. She got a couple of 35s out for me to just kind of play with. You guys, I fell in love. Not gonna lie, like I already knew I loved the Birkin and I've tried on like a Kelly 28, Kelly 32. I liked them, like they were nice, they were great bags. But the Kelly 35, honestly, honestly, kind of stole my heart, NGL, not gonna lie. I don't know what it is that I like about it so much. It's the fact that it's a singular handle, much like my, my Fendi.com, my Fendi peekaboos, like all the bags that I truly love just have the one handle on top, so easy to use. I like that it has the shoulder strap, we did discover though that I have sloping shoulders and can't really keep a strap on just one shoulder. I have to wear it crossbody, which you can't really do that with the Kelly. Besides the point, that's another rant. I, I honestly, I fell in love with it. I, I liked everything about it. I like that, you know, when you're looking at it sideways, she's very slender and I like that it doesn't have like a huge footprint. When you go to a bistro for lunch and you have to sit it on like a tiny chair, if you're even lucky to get a chair, sometimes they sit us at like a two top, you know, where, where do you put your bag? I'm not gonna put it on the ground. There's no room on the table because you have all the olive oil, the wine, and everything else. The Kelly would work better in that situation. So as you all know, like I love my Fendi.coms, my peekaboos, and the Kelly at is the most peekaboo-esque, I would say, between the Kelly and the Birkin. Now with the Birkin, I mean, what can you say? If, if you love a Birkin, you just know. It's not, it's not necessarily that it's like the most expensive handbag that you can buy or one of them. At any price point, I think I would love that bag. It's structured, it's, it's gorgeous, it's, it's very French. <laughs> has a lot of history to it. It's just a beautiful bag, well constructed. I love like the, the saddle stitching, the beeswax, the, the made by hand by one artisan. Love all that, you know, romance nonsense. So I'm trying to decide which do I like more. 
All right, so looking back at the videos, I am watching myself now with the Kelly 35, and I like how it fits on my frame. I think that the Kelly 40 especially, and the Cellier version, I can read a little brief Casey, especially in the darker colors. Now the color that I'm trying on, is it's not what I'm considering, it's not a color I would buy, but I like it. I like that it's, it's a nice, simple silhouette. I'm a bigger, taller guy, and it, it fits nicely on me. Now the Birkin 35, and I regret not getting footage of it opened in the store, like, would I carry it closed? I mean, once in a very, very, very blue moon, but generally I'll keep it open and kind of messy looking because hashtag cash vibes, right? I love it too, but again, it's it's much bigger, much heavier, and then you have the dueling handles in your hand. I know that sounds silly, but like, I just prefer having one handle on my top handles, not gonna lie. And I also like the fact that you can wear the Kelly on your shoulder. So if I'm like, you know, carrying groceries in, why I would go to the grocery store and my Hermes bag is beyond me, but I mean, hey, I probably would. I'm that extra. I'm that biatch. I would, I would, I would take my Hermes to the grocery store. Okay guys, what do you think? Kelly or Birkin? Like, okay, sound off in the comments, hit pause, go down in the comments, Kelly or Birkin? Just flat out, what do you think I should get? So the reason that I'm having this emergency meeting is, I was talking to the essay at this store, which we'll get to here in a moment. She's bringing in a few of the bags on my wish list. They're gonna be in and they, they should be there on Saturday. She's brought in two Birkins to compare and a Kelly, all in my dream color. I'm super excited. Now the Birkins she's bringing in because of the price point that I'm like willing to be in like at this moment are a little rough. With these, I'd basically buy it, literally go down a block to Hermes and send it out to spa. We're not trying to do that. The Kelly though, the Kelly is almost flawless from what I can tell in the pictures online. Granted, I haven't seen that particular one in person yet. It's on its way here to Chicago. It's, it's, it's the right everything. It's the right color, the right color and hardware combo, the right leather. It's, it's honestly been my dream color for a very long time. It has the strap, it has the clochette, keys, lock. The only thing it's missing is its box, its dust bag, and its rain bag. Now, the box, fine, whatever, I'd probably just throw in our storage unit anyway and never really look at it. Well, that's a lie, I'd probably put it on a table, but don't judge me. The dust bag, I can get a new one when it goes out to spa because it does have, you know, some corner rubbing, like not a lot, like I can probably carry it for a year or so before I need to send it in anywhere. And we all know that when Hermes ships a bag, you get a brand new dust bag. The rain, the raincoat, I mean, I wouldn't really, with my more expensive, nicer bags, I will check the weather before we go out because as you know, I have the Burberry nylon toe, I have the Prada nylon, I have my different rainy day bags. There's just some bags that I just don't wanna even mess with carrying around in the rain, even though they're like pebbled leather and probably would be fine. So I mean, overall, it's a gorgeous bag. Now, it's at the right price point, like I said. It's actually at the lower end of, of the price scale that I've been looking at, but also one of the better quality ones. So this is where the store comes into question. Obviously, I'm not walking into a boutique and saying, hey, I'm here to buy a, a Birkin or a Kelly. What, what do you have to show me? Uh, they'd probably laugh me out of the store. I'm just being upfront with that. Maybe one day, hashtag Jet Setter vibes, but not, not in 2022. I'm not there yet. Am I? Definitely not. Rude. Anyway, <laughs> so this is obviously a pre-owned boutique. If you've already put two and two together, like looked in the background of the, of the footage I sent, I've shown you guys, or like maybe there's some signage out, it's the real real. <laughs> Yes, I'm considering buying my most expensive handbag from the real real, and that really makes me nervous, like incredibly nervous. So this whole entire time, I've really only been considering Birkins or Kellys from Fashion File or Rebag. They're both, you know, retailers that I've shopped with, retailers that I trust, and unless you're buying from the outlet on Rebag, I think they both have a really good return policy within like 10 days or seven days or something silly with, with their expensive bags. The real real, which if you guys have seen my, my real real little info video, which a lot of people have, uh, oof, it makes me so nervous to spend that amount of money at the real real. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like if this was like a, like a Louis Vuitton, I don't know, this or that, or you know, like some Gucci bag that I could like, you know, like I, I've seen those in person. I know what they're supposed to look like. I, I don't feel confident in authenticating a bag of that price myself. Now, could I do it online for fun and be like, oh, was I right? I mean, probably, and I'd probably get a pretty good score. I do have the one Hermes bag, my Rio PM, but I don't know enough about Hermes to just like inherently like clock a fake, especially if it's a good fake. Hopefully at this price point, this is something that they would actually have authenticated themselves. But as we've seen in the past, Chanel has sued them for selling fake or counterfeit handbags and items. Recently, I, I forget who it was, but one of the, the Instagrammers I follow, they were sharing like all these like fake coach bags and Michael Kors bags, like blatant fakes that they had found on the real rail. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous. Like I don't think they have the capability to authenticate as much of this product that they're getting in and to do it well. 
that makes me super nervous. Now, like I said, hopefully at this price point, Hermes, they're, they're doing a better job. Like they actually have like a trained Hermes person that can like look at these bags. I hope. <sighs> However, like I said though, this is one of my dream bags. It's in my dream color combo, hardware, leather, everything is, everything's aligned minus missing the dust bag, I know. But it's at a price point that you would see rougher things on Fashion File or Rebag. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. They'd be a little bit more rough on those websites. Occasionally, like on Fashion File and Rebag, you will find that one. It pops up and it's usually gone same day. That's like in like the seven, eight thousand dollar range. Like I said, it goes really quick. Now, the price point that I've been shopping in, I, I would love to be in like the sevens, eights. Amazing. If I can find something in really good quality at that price point, knock on marble. Swipe my card, yes please and thank you. But I have been pretty much like telling myself that it's probably gonna be closer to 10. However, this one I could save a few thousand dollars on. I'd be okay, I'd be very happy. Like I said, it's from the Real Real. It's online right now. Don't go and buy it out before I can see it on Saturday. Just saying. They literally, for a bag of this price point, only have four photos of it. Like no close-ups of hallmarks, stamps, anything whatsoever. That makes me nervous. Like some of the Birkins and Kellys they'll have like 30 pictures of and this one they literally have four and that's including the one on the model where they, you know, Photoshop it onto somebody for size reference. I'm super torn. First, we have to get through the battle of am I a Kelly or am I a Birkin person? At the end of the day, I'm a both and I'll be happy with either and both in my collection. Like this isn't gonna be my last Hermes bag. It's, it's my second one, won't be my last. Trust and believe. Jamie Chua, I'm gonna have a closet like yours one day, I promise. Probably not, but I'm just, a boy can dream. However, do I trust the real real with this big of a purchase? I don't know you guys, it makes me super nervous. So I need you guys to sound off. Talk me into it, talk me out of it. Have you had a good experience? Have you had a bad experience? I know a lot of you already sounded off in my original Real Real video, and there was a lot, a lot of horror stories. So do I wanna add my name to that list? Ooh, makes me nervous, but I'm also low-key incredibly excited that in literally four days, I could be buying one of my dream bags. That is kind of insane. I knew it would happen one day, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I'm a hardworking person. I set a goal, I achieve it, I get it, I get what I want. That's never been a question, but to like literally be less than a week away, from, I mean, every handbag collector has like that pinnacle dream bag, and this is one of mine, and insanity. I just, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that we'll be literally piling into the car on Saturday, going into the city and trying on what could potentially be the newest and most expensive addition to my handbag collection. Sound off, what are your thoughts? Tell me down below if, be honest, be brutal, lay it out there, I wanna hear it sound off. Now, be sure to join me Friday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. I have a very exciting weekend vlog for you guys. Like I said, I met up with one of my favorite YouTubers and Chicago luxury YouTube vloggers, and we had such a fun day. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. Also, Zane and I got into some hijinks this weekend. It was a nice three-day weekend, so plenty of good stuff happened, so make sure to check that out. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming to my emergency meeting. I hope someone took notes for the the minutes, I don't know how formal meetings work. Chairman of the board, no, I'm just kidding. Sound off below, honest opinions, let me know. Kelly, Birkin, The Real Real, what do we think? All right guys, until Friday, have a great week, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>